This is the calculator. It was invented in 1901 by James J. Walsh. The patent date is right here, December 17th, 1901. And manufactured by Herbert North Morse uh, from uh, Trenton, New Jersey. And yeah, it was manufactured starting in 1903. In uh, 1907 Walsh uh, invented a reset mechanism which was added that year, at the end of that year, and um, at that point it was then renamed as the standard desk calculator, and uh, it was produced until about 1914, uh, it's not entirely clear. It's uh, It came in various uh, uh, types, this one has six digits, there were versions with uh, seven or eight digits as well, and a simpler version with five digits and without a reset uh, dial. Uh, if you wanted, you could order uh, longer versions or versions with uh, twelfths for uh, inches and feet, or sixteenths. And um, yeah, it, it has a serial number on this side, over there. Uh, apparently there were about a hundred thousand produced, so presumably this one is from about uh, 1912 with this number. The 99 there is probably the model type, but uh, that's not entirely clear. It, um, yeah, it has two legs here, so you can stand it up um, uh, at an angle. It came with a stylus, which was uh, a pencil with a, a metal uh, pin at the, on the back, but uh, those tended to get lost and uh, yeah they're very rare nowadays. So I'm going to use a ballpoint pen, uh, that doesn't work anymore. And uh, yeah it's very easy to use, just uh, dial in the number you want to add, for example uh, 3 4, uh, 5, and 6. Yeah, you just dial it in until you hit the stop at the bottom. So now it says 3, 4, 5, 6. And to add another number, say 567, you just dial that in as well. 5, 6. As you can see, it's carried over. And 7. And again. So now you have 4023. The wheels only turn one way, uh, clockwise. The clicking you heard when I dialed the numbers in, that's a, a latch. Uh, so it uh, really only moves one way, clockwise. So to subtract, you have to add the complementary numbers. So I'm going to subtract 567 again. Uh, start at the right. Instead of putting uh, the stylus into the 7 and turning to the end, start at this end near the 9 and turn it to the digit, so until 7. So uh, here I'm going to uh, uh, subtract 6, so you have to turn it until you reach 6, and here I'll turn it until I reach 5. There we go. And you have to continue on the on the next digits to add, as it were, uh, zero or subtract, as it were, zero. So you start in the nine and go all the way around till the end. And do that with these as well. That way, it overflows and uh, yeah, you it overflows off the end. Once you've done all that, you have to do one more thing. You have to add one. There we go. So now it then again says three, four, five, six. What we started with. The uh, yeah the clearing mechanism, the reset mechanism, on the machines that didn't have that you would have to look at the uh, at the wheels and there's a little C embossed here or, or stamped in and yeah you'd, you'd put the stylus next to the C starting from the right next to the C here and uh, continue all the, all the way up 
and this one is out to 9 and this one is out to 9 as well and that puts it back to 0 but uh, yeah that, that's a bit cumbersome so instead the uh, yeah you can use this reset mechanism which is quite clever you have to uh, turn it clockwise and what that does is it switches these three dials um, it brings those up to 9 until you can't move any further and then you have to go back and that turns the other three dials up to 9 and then lets them overflow and the carry puts the others to 0 as well so now it reads zeros. So that's it, that's the calcimeter.